Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to unbox my first official uh, Blythe doll. Um, I bought a factory Blythe uh, a couple of years ago and I really didn't like her so I'm a bit scared now. Uh, but, well, who knows. I'm going to give it a try. And um, my, one of my friends told me I could just uh, spray uh, her face plate and the back of her head with um, Mr. Super Clear, the, the matte one of course, to get rid of the shine in her face. So I think that's something I might want to do. I'm not sure yet. I will just see how I like her first. Also, I might like to have a jointed body for her, but we'll see. Um, I ordered this girl on the 11th of July and she arrived yesterday, so that was the 29th. So, she arrived in less than three weeks from Hong Kong. And let's see... Oh, wow. I think I like her. <laughs> I really do. Well, that's that's great, you know, because I was really a bit nervous. Uh, here she is. She, her name is C. Sailor C. And I think she is from 2019, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not really into black, as you may have uh, discovered by now. So, let's see. I was thinking about getting a candle, but uh, I couldn't find one at the right price point. And uh, I also wanted her to have short hair because with the factory one I realized I didn't like the long hair because it was all in the way and all that. So, well, let's see. Let's get her out of this box. There's a little uh, cardboard uh, print which you can put on the stand if you like. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that because that would damage the box. And I like to keep the box with me. I like that this box has all these seashells here. It's really cute. So let's see. So she's got a sun hat and her stand, a pair of um, Japanese slippers, I'm, I kind of forgot the name of it, and a little bag, and her yukata. So let's get this girl free. This is going to take some time. I will just take everything out of the box and get back to you. So, as you can see, I'm back and I've got all the bits out of the box. And, well, let's continue. Um, let's have a look at her first. Uh, I wanted a short hair doll because the factory one that I had had long hair and I really didn't like it. Uh, so there's that. And I was hoping, uh, because I heard some people talking about hair issues with the um, uh, with the stop, uh, with the, yes, the stop lights. Uh, that when she had short hair, uh, she wouldn't have much of an issue with her hair. Well, it feels a bit greasy. I can tell that. So I might want to brush it, come with, whatever. Let's have a look at her eyes. Uh, she has blue eyes that look to the front. And then... Uh, darker blue that look to the... Um, left. Green eyes! Oh, I love that. A brunette with green eyes. 
and pink eyes that look to the right. I might not go for the pink eyes really. So these are the light blue ones that are front facing, the dark blue that are facing to the left, and the green ones. And I think I will keep her with green eyes because I'm just fond of green eyes. So, um, as you can see, she has this nautical themed uh, yukata, and it's really very cute. It has uh, anchors and uh, sailboat, seashells and whatnot uh, on the printed on. Um, the OB uh, closes with uh, velcro and of course there's the, the other one, I'm not sure what it's called but it's going under the uh, OB. And then here we have the yukata. She's wearing a very simple pair of undies. Her legs um, click once and twice. And that's it. One and two. So she can pose a little and of course her um, arms just move up and down. Uh, she can move her head to the side and that's about the movement she has. So she has joints at the hips, joints at the shoulder and joints at uh, uh, shoulder joints and then she has the two clicks at the leg. So let's put this on again. I need to be careful with that pull string that I don't put it between <laughs> the waistband or the OB here. So that's it. Oh, her hair got a bit messed up now. But let's see, yes, I can get it just back the way it should be. I don't mind the shine of her face as much as I thought I would, so that's really great. And although her head is flat, it doesn't bother me as much as it did with the other one. Probably also because she has uh, short hair, I'm not sure, but it might make a difference for me. Um, now here are her slippers. Um, and let's look at that stand because she might want to be put up in it. So it has the stand. bit of a problem with the OB because it, because it, I can show you here uh, here is the OB and this needs to go over or under so well she stands so that's cute her bag has a pull string and you could put something in it, as you can see. And 
there's a little charm on it. So that's really cute. So I will put it on, on her hand. Like this. And then she has a big sun hat. Of course it has to be big because she's got a big head. That's really cute. So this is my nautical blight, I could say. And she's my first blight, really. And I'm really happy I tried with her because I really like her. So <laughs> watch out for more blight videos, I guess. Uh, I might want to see if the clothes I have for Daisy will fit her. I guess they do, because they can usually swap clothes. Uh, Daisy just has a somewhat slimmer waist, uh, I've been told. But we'll see. So, this is the super cute box. I really have to show that. I'm I like everything that has to do with sea, probably because I was born in The Hague and I've been living there in a total of about 15 years and I like to go to the sea whenever I could. So yes, uh, I think it's very fitting to have a brunette with green eyes uh, with a nautical theme. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, and share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you so much everyone for watching and I really appreciate uh, everyone who has subscribed so far. So I wanted to do a bit of a closer up shot of uh, Blythe and her box. As you can see the box is very pretty with printed on seashells and uh, at the back card is uh, our anchors and sailboats and all that. So it's really a very pretty box I think. Uh, here is Blythe. Um, so as you can see these are her green eyes and Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, I will try to show the eyes uh, later on. So here are her Gita, this is her Yukata, and the Obi. And this is her drawstring bag with the um, little charm on it. There are also little um, beads, I think, for closing the bag. So, oh well, <laughs> I can't do that well and I only have one hand. So, this is the print on the... Um, Yukata. Here's also a charm on the Obi. Oops, there you go. She's a bit top heavy, of course, with a large head. Uh, pretty brown hair in uh, different colors, as you can see. And uh, this is her head. Now, I will try and. Um, show the other eye colors uh, with pictures later on. So I've got my trippet out and let's see if I can show the eyes of Blight now. So these are her pink eyes that look to the right. Her front facing light blue eyes. Her uh, darker blue eyes that face to the left and then her front facing green eyes 